In this video, I'll show you how to be more specific in a workflow SMS for the calls module, the meetings module, and the tasks module about which phone number to use. The way that you normally set up a call SMS, say here, this SMS is gonna be sent out when a missed call is received. What you normally do is you specify the activity ID and the activity type. And then what we do in behind the scenes is we go and find the lead or contact linked to that call. We look through all of the phone numbers connected to that lead or contact, and we send an SMS to all of those phone numbers. That might not be what you want. You might actually want to be able to specify which number is used. The reason you might want to do that is because in some CRMs, they might have the, if you've got multiple offices, they might have a workflow rule where the local office number is actually added to each contact, or there might be a phone number that is not actually belonging to the contact. It might be the salesperson or a repair person, and that SMS would not make sense to, to be sending to that number as well. If you've got that kind of scenario, what you can do is you can specify phone field API name to use, and you could do something like mobile here. And that way it's only going to pull out the mobile field and if there's no number set in the mobile field then it would just not do anything it would skip that sms entirely for the calls module you do know which number it came from so you can also potentially in some cases you you can go and if you've got another workflow rule that will pull out the number, you might be able to use the, the phone number field in the course module, but it doesn't actually, it's not default behavior to add that. You can see here, there's no field in the course module for caller ID, which is sometimes a bit annoying, but what, what can be done is you can have the load script that would populate a, a custom field and then if you had that number in the calls module, you could use two to specify it. But if that sounds really complicated, then the easier way to go about it and the way that's gonna be more appropriate for meetings and tasks is if you use what I showed before, if you put say mobile here, then it's going to pick out the mobile field. Or if you don't really care and you're happy for it to go to mobile and phone and potentially the technician phone number, then just leave it completely blank and it will try and send it out to all possible numbers connected to that lead or contact.